Maka. Hey, I've been trying to wrap my brain around this stuff all morning. My head is hurting. What are you reading about? AC circuits. I was just trying to learn a little more about them so I could tinker with some of the models we build. I think I know what you're talking about. Is it the complex numbers that's throwing you off? Yes. How can there be imaginary values in a circuit? So let's just take it one step at a time, OK? OK. OK. So electricity in a circuit depends on energy moving through an object that has free electrons. Like a metal wire. Yes. When electrons are taken in at the end of the wire, they create a difference in energy levels across the wire called a voltage. Sort of like pumping water into one end of a pipe that makes the water come out the other end. Yes. And the flow of energy through the wire is the current. That would be like the speed of the water that's coming out of the pipe. Yeah, that's a really good analogy. So the resistance to the flow of energy is the voltage divided by the current. I remember that. R equals to V divided by I. Resistance is voltage divided by current. Right. Now, can you picture what that means? I can, indirectly. When current is higher, resistance is lower. If I think about it the opposite way, it makes more sense. The lower the resistance, the higher the current. Exactly. Now, that's the formula for DC circuits. DC means direct current. Direct current means that the voltage is constant and the current flows in a single direction. DC circuits use real numbers and simple algebra. But the problem I have is in the AC circuits. OK, so AC stands for alternating current. And that means that the current varies over time. So sometimes the current is flowing out of the end of the wire, and sometimes it's flowing backward. But those are the two extreme possibilities. Sometimes the current just flows partly off the real axis. That's where it starts to feel like magic. All right, well, don't give up on me yet. We just really need to use the magnitude of the values we're analyzing. The magnitude of a real number is its absolute value. And the magnitude of a complex number is a non-negative real number similar to absolute value. With complex numbers, that magnitude is pointing in a certain direction, like the big hand on a clock. With real numbers, the only sense of direction you have is either positive or negative. Let me show you. Look at the big hand. When I move it around, the magnitude doesn't change. So no matter what direction it's pointing in, the length of the big hand doesn't change. The magnitude of the value is constant. In AC circuits, the magnitude of the voltage and current doesn't change. It's just the direction that changes. That seems pretty simple. And so now we need to add a new component to the value, the reactance. The reactance is the same concept as resistance, except it's the imaginary component of the value. See, there's that word, imaginary. <laughs> well, it took a long time for mathematicians to believe that they were real, so for a long time they were called imaginary. It's one of those things you have to understand indirectly, like you did earlier with resistance, but they're just as real as real numbers. I wish they used a different name. Resistance and reactance together form complex resistance, or what engineers call impedance. Like resistance, impedance is directly proportional to voltage and indirectly proportional to current. So it's the same. It is. Only working with complex numbers makes the calculations more complex. So the resistance is the impedance along the wire, while the reactance is the impedance into or out of the wire. As the current alternates, resistance and reactance vary, but the impedance has the same magnitude. So what I'm reading about AC circuits, resistors affect the resistance, while inductors and capacitors affect the reactance. And the combination of the resistors, inductors, and capacitors in the circuit make up the total impedance. So when the current is higher, the magnitude of the impedance is lower. I get it. The lower the impedance, the higher the current. That makes sense now. Yay! How's your headache feeling? Ooh. <laughs> Got it.